Hello my friends, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dana and we are still working on this savings binder. That, uh, let me go back, guys. That we started. So basically, okay, we did our deck confession. You can go ahead and find that video. It's probably not linked up down below because that's how i am but it's somewhere on my playlist <laughs> oh guys i am a mess yeah cat screaming still all right um we also talked about the savings goals for this year so that way we can kind of keep on track and you know there was some rants in there all right my friends we are gonna move on this time to our sinking funds so Hopefully, you can see what I'm going to start saving for with my cash envelopes, which I do love cash envelopes. They really do help you. Um, what? El Elias. My cat wants to say hi, but he also wants to leave. And for some reason, my son put him in my room. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let him out, okay? Okay. Door open. Cat out. Let's move on, shall we? All right, still sick, still the same day. <laughs> still ranting and raving about nothing like Luna check. All right, so we're moving on to our sinking funds. What are we going to be saving for this year? So if you remembered in my other video, if you didn't, well, here's a, re a reminder. Go back and look. That's a lot of ranting. But no, um, I went ahead and um, for my sinking funds... I wanted to keep these extremely, extremely simple. So I will be doing three binders this year, plus my savings challenges. Okay, again, my savings goals are all on another page, or not page. They're all in another video, which you can go look at, but sinking fun time. Okay, so I'm going to have a family binder, a house binder, and a one-day binder. And this is just basically things that I could not fit into these two. I wanted to do it extremely simple. I wanted to see the progress. And I wanted to know that I was doing something other than putting a dollar in every envelope. Even though it does add up, I kind of want to get there a little bit faster this time. So, what we are going to be doing is we're going to have... The first one is going to be for my daughter. So, Avi Binder. Her name is Avery. I call her Avi because she's my little baby. My uh, son couldn't say her name and he was little and he used to call her Avi. So, so, she got that nickname. But this one right here is going to be her binder slash allowance. Yeah, maybe I should just keep it as allowance. Ah. Okay, I'm just going to put allowance. Whatever. And it's self-explanatory. This is going to drive me insane. Insane. Okay. I went ahead and I wetted it out. <laughs> this is going to drive me insane, but it's okay. Sorry. I've got this stuff everywhere. Okay. So, Avery's allowance. The next one is going to be her spending. Did I really just do that? I'm just not having a good moment. There's cats everywhere. My head is a mess. I'm sick. Alright. But it's okay. We're saving money. Right? Alright, so Avery's spending. So this one right here is here for allowance. We're just going to put money earned. E-A-R-N-E money earned she gets five dollars a week if she does her chores she doesn't know about this this one right here her spending is going to be her clothing okay it's going to be her school it's going to be the prom winter ball it's going to be driver's ed etc Anything that she will possibly need is going to be coming from this. 
right? The third one that we are going to be doing is going to be my school. This is going to be for my classes. God damn. Nothing in this video is consistent except for my screw ups. Right, so my school is going to be my classes. It's going to be food if I have to eat at school. It's going to be for supplies. Now, I do have to pay for school myself. And that is why I'm in a community college because I am poor and I don't have that uh, that rich man's money where you get to go to school on someone else's dime. Yeah, being a foster kid, they kind of forgot about me. So they were like, hey, you go to community college and figure it out on your own. Uh, that worked out 20 years later. But that is beside the point. Um, but yeah, so books, etc. Okay, the next one is going to be self-love. So, I have been getting my nails done every three weeks. So, I got them done before Christmas, like the week before Christmas. And these right here are my actual nails. Um, I worked really hard to get them this long. <laughs> so, it's going to be for my nails. It's going to be for beauty. It's going to be for clothes. It's going to be for hobbies, etc. Anything that I need for myself is going to be in that one. Because sometimes you need to take care of yourself too, right? Now, you might be like, don't you have two kids? I do have two kids. But my other kid has his own income. So, he budgets his own money and how he wants to do his stuff. And I kind of just leave it alone. Whatever he wants to do, he does because he's an adult. All right, number five is going to be my family. My family time. Um, and this is mainly like experiences. So I do a lot of stuff with my daughter. Like we'll go um, to the thrift shop together or we'll go to the flea market together or we'll go to a movie um, or to a concert. Stuff like that. So, anything that we do as a family, if we go to the zoo, anything, we're just going to go ahead and uh, take it out of this envelope. The next one is going to be for my fur babies. Down. Who is driving my son crazy? You might hear my son screaming in a couple minutes. My cat keeps jumping on all the counters. And, oh, I don't know why. But this is going to be for food, for litter, for vets, anything that my cats might need. Now, I do weekly budgeting, or bi-weekly budgeting now. But with my bi-weekly budgeting, we are going to be going um, and getting them, like, food and litter and stuff like that. But I bought my my kids, I bought my cats an electric litter box, and it worked for a day, and then it just gave up. Like, it wasn't powerful enough to do its job, and I had to throw it away. That thing was $75. I was really, really mad. Then I had to go out and buy a, what, $26 litter box that, like, doesn't even clean itself, and it's, like, encased, and it's always like a mess, but my cats can't knock it over, which is good. For a long time, I had to get them those like big plastic bins because my, I can't have an actual litter box. My cats are too big, like they're huge. And so they knock them over every single day and it's crazy, but yep, that's what that one's for. And then the other one is just a cash, cash envelopes. Which is for anything needed and not budgeted. All right. I still haven't figured out if you spell budgeted with two T's or with one, but we're just going to go with it because <laughs> who cares? All right, so the next one is going to be the house binder. So the house binder is going to be for obvious things. So food, right? This is um, extra food for holidays. Holidays. Um, or I don't know, because you can't ever afford anything. 
because food is so expensive, eating out, etc. Um, the second one is going to be for the house. And then this one right here is going to be for anything at all. If it's like organizing, because I'm trying to organize everything in my life right now. So, organizing. Um, I have a P.O. box that I have to pay for um, every six months. Um, let's see. Just like anything needed. I don't know. I'm just going to put etc. Because, I mean, it's literally for anything for your house. Like, um, in December... I got so aggravated with not having a pantry that I actually went and uh, when Walmart was having a huge sale, um, it was like a clearance sale online, I bought a pantry for 60 bucks, and I literally just ended up with two of them, stuck them there, and now I have a kitchen pantry to put drinks and stuff in, and then I have a um, bathroom one to put my towels in because... We have no room. We literally only have two closets in this whole entire house, and they're in my bedroom. So, yep. All right, number three. Number three is going to be for the car. So, this one right here is because I owe $500. Um, and I'm just going to put the payment. But this is going to be for triple A. It's going to be for... um oil changes etc anything needed for the car is going to come out of this envelope number 5 is new jersey travel so my grandmother lives in new jersey and my great aunt lives in new jersey and then i have one aunt who just recently moved out of new jersey into texas and so um because I am the closest one to my 83-year-old grandma, I'm basically kind of responsible for her. Her sister is supposed to be responsible for her. She's in her 70s. She is a fruitcake. Like, dingbat fruitcake. Like, just, I love her. That's all I got to say. <laughs> uh, I These two should not be, you know, should not be depending on each other. I am the only person. So I need to make sure that I have the means to get down there and help my grandmother with anything because she's struggling with making doctor's appointments, with going to the doctors, like anything at all. Like how I'm breathing right now because I have an upper respiratory infection. My grandmother has been breathing this way since last, what, May or June? And she has not gone to the doctor. I'm like, you have something wrong with you. Go to the doctor. And I have to literally yell at her and explain to her that she has an infection that has not been taken care of. And it's causing her to not be able to breathe. You would think that she would know that, being 82 years old. But I think that uh, the, the dementia is setting in. So, it's going to be fun because I feel like I have dementia. It's like the blind leading the blind. It's just, it's insane. But it's okay, right? So, I have to make sure that I have tolls, that I have gas money. And every time I go down there, I have to basically buy them food. Because I never have food in their house. So, yep. The next one is going to be for church. Now, I do go to church. I've not been physically in church in a couple of months. I want to say almost a year. <laughs> Um, but I go online, so it's just for church stuff. I want to be more active in my church this year, and hopefully I will get there. But as of right now, everything is online. The next one is going to be for holidays. And again, that is self-explanatory. It's literally for holidays, all holidays, every single one of them. So, Valentine's Day, Easter, 4th of July, Juneteenth, Columbus Day, Halloween, anything that you could think of, it's going to be in this binder. Now, I'm going to have challenges for Christmas because I do know that I need extra money for Christmas. But as of right now, this is what we got. And then the next one is going to be license. Because I have a pharmacy license. And I have to renew every year, and I always forget about it. 
and I just I need to just keep this in there um also I'm gonna have to renew my driver's license which I'm gonna put in here because why not right <coughs> so sorry guys all right so moving on we have our one day binder one day binder is literally things that it might be something that I only need once or it might be something that I need often or it could be just things that I'm saving for that is not in a challenge. So there's only five of them and I tried to pick the ones that I felt was very important. So I have Evie, college, okay, and this is because she's going to be going to college in two years. So I got to figure that one out. Right. The other one is Silver Screen Con. Right. Oh no, sorry. That is for something else. I try to get organized so that way I was less on a rant in these videos, <laughs> like the other ones, and I just I still go off the rails. Like I'm telling you, it's my life, man. Taxes now. If you guys have been with my channel for a while, you know that, unfortunately, someone has decided to steal my daughter's identity and claim her on their income taxes for the last five years. I finally got a pin last year, but it was still too late because the people had already claimed her. So, basically what happens is that I have to pay cash for my taxes to get done, and sometimes, like, it could be $100, sometimes it could be $150, sometimes it could be even more than that. And so, um, I'm hoping that I, I can come up with the money, like, ASDP, and, like, I would love to, you know, when you do your taxes, and they just take the fees out, I would love that, but because someone always claims my kid, I haven't been able to do that, and then I have to wait till September to get my income taxes back, and it's always been a mess. So... We finally have a pin. She is all set for right now. Um, and then hopefully no one's going to be able to take her identity this year. But just in case, I need to have this binder starting to be set up because I don't I don't know how it's going to work. So we have the taxes. And then we have future. Which the future could be anything. It could be anything that we might need in the future. So anything and everything. Okay, so it's kind of like the shit hits the fan and everything goes south. It's kind of like one of those. Um, or it could be, you know, I I save $100 and then I decide to separate that into, you know, another sinking fund. Like, hey, I'm going to use this future money for retirement, for a tattoo, for a piercing, for, you know, whatever else I might need. I can't think right now. But that is what that's for. It's just to get a general idea and start saving for something. And number four is going to be vacation. And I spelled it out because I used to write VK and the way that I always wrote VK was V A K or V A C K. No, V A C A. I could do this, promise. My one brain cell is working overtime, but the other two showed up. So it's okay. All right. So, vacation. I used to spell it V A C A. And then someone commented on my video and was like, oh, when it says VK, it's, it says, um, cow in, like, Spanish, and I was like, yeah, that kind of, <laughs> that fits me. <laughs> it fits me very well, but I always think about that, so now I'm spelling it out, but this is any and all vacations, and I will eventually have a vacation binder, but as of right now, we're keeping this simple. Once I get to a certain amount, we'll go ahead and we'll separate them into the different binders, and then... Number five is just going to be debt, and it's anything extra I could put toward that. So anything extra I can put toward debt. Okay, guys, so I try to keep this as simple as possible, and, uh, 
I don't know. I was just getting a text message. But I try to keep this as simple as possible. This right here is going to be my binders and my sinking funds. I will be um, uploading a video where I put all of this stuff together. It's going to be my wallet, which is my everyday, which I'm going to keep with me. My bill binder is going to be my family, my house, and my one day, and my... Um, what is it called? My sinking funds or my saving challenge binder. And hopefully be able to you know stick with those but um that video is going to be coming up very very soon i don't want these videos to be way too long so i am just going to go ahead and cut this off right here and i hope that you join me for the next video hopefully it wasn't too ranty i'm actually losing my breath i'm losing my voice and so <laughs> i'm paying for the other you know two three videos that i already filmed mm -hmm. so that being said I hope that you do check out those other videos that you comment on them um, and that here, you know, tell me what you're saving for. Remember this year, we're going to try to keep it as simple as possible, um, not go over the top with stuff, but um, yeah, let me know what you guys are saving for because I like to get ideas from you and I also like to get feedback from you. Like I remember um, my really good friend, um, she is at Diary of a Single Mom 2017. Still love her to death. Um, she actually recommended to set up for um, her daughter for when she got into college. She was going to set up like this whole stuff. So when she went to dances and when she went to everything else, she would have the money. Because sometimes high school costs more than middle school. You know? And so... I learned that from her and I learned from a lot of other budgeting channels, just little things. And I like to learn from people because we all know that over here I'm a hot mess and I can't even think straight half the time. So I need input from you guys. Let me know what you guys are saving for. Let me know how your binders are gonna look and uh definitely like this video so that way it gets out there and it reaches more people and uh definitely you know, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will see you in the next one. Okay, guys? Bye.